are you someone who wants to become a data analyst in 2024 that too within the first six months are you confused where to start what to do different this time to get that job then you are in the right video i'm going to give you a detailed explanation of how you can learn the tools what you can do different to land your dream data analyst job let's get started right away the first thing that you need to know is understand if you are going to be fit for the data analyst job this is about knowing if you are an analytical thinker you are someone who can work with stakeholders effectively in a team are you someone who is willing to learn new things are you someone who can take failures not to heart but bounce back from it these are some of the mindset things that are super important to become a data analyst so ask yourself if you fit these things once you have made up your mind about this mindset thing you can move on to picking up the skills so as a data analyst what are the core skills that you absolutely need to know you have to start with excel so when i say excel do you need to become an expert not probably right you can start with learning the most commonly talked about formulas for example v lookup pivot table conditional formatting some text functions like left mid and so on maybe a little more about what is an excel macro other data manipulation functions in excel maybe some date functions learn a little bit of these for example you can go and check out my excel playlist in this channel i've covered most of these basic topics once you're done with that go and do projects you can check out some of the projects in my youtube channel as well for excel whenever you are watching a youtube video for a project maybe the first one or two projects you walk through the video completely you follow the instructor and do it when it comes to your third or fourth project do something little bit different whenever the youtuber or the instructor points out to a question pause the video there think about how you will solve it yourself take the help of google and chat gpt integrate these things in your problem solving process try that you can solve it if you are really stuck then look at the video this is how you learn by doing by throwing yourself into the ocean and learning to swim this can be super important please don't walk through all the projects without even thinking about how you would do it so this is super crucial this can be a game changer once you do like 3 4 projects in excel you are already sorted now let us move on to the next skill which is sql sql is structured query language it is used to query databases it is one of the most popular tools asked in data analyst job applications how are you going to learn sql again learn the basics and intermediate like the functions formulas and statements you can check out my sql basic sql intermediate playlist i have on my youtube channel this will give you a hang of the basics and intermediate part of sql once you are done with this take some data sets let's say from kaggle or maybe even your real time data set and ask it a few questions like 15 20 questions right and based on the question try to frame your query so over here you are coming up with the question first and then looking to th- solve it through sql this can be a super useful approach because when you are thinking about questions you can think of anything under the sun then it becomes more challenging to try and actually solve it using sql right this is again another learn by doing method apart from this follow some sql projects try it out yourself as well in my channel i have plenty of sql projects you can check them out here in the sql project playlist once you are done with this for sql you need little more practice so go to websites like lead code or hacker rank try to get in yourself into those scenario questions and solve them one by one you can do even two three questions a day don't over burden yourself but please try to answer the question yourself unless you are really stuck don't look at the solution immediately even if you can crack one or two out of three questions every day you will get that self confidence which is super important when you go to an actual data analyst job if you want to practice more scenario questions i have my own sql scenario question playlist where i have solved questions from google facebook and other top tech companies this can really train your mindset to become good at sql now that we are done with excel and sql the next step a uh, logical next step is to learn a visualization tool there are again plenty of tools out there in the market you could use a tableau you could use a power bi you could use a looker studio choose one of them these three are surely in demand choose one of them and try to understand the basics you can do a simple udemy course or something for this or youtube tutorials once that is done choose two or three relevant data set which you associate to it could be a marketing data set it could be data set about covid for example 
build simple dashboards you don't need to over complicate it use the right chart to tell the right story learn a little bit about storytelling and build two or three dashboards this can be your portfolio for the data visualization part now that you are done with excel sql and data visualization you need to come to the game changing tool which is some programming language again here you have two options either r or python according to me python is a more general purpose programming language and has much higher demand so if i were you i would definitely choose python now how should your learning journey be in python start with the basics like for loops if else statements what is a list what is a dictionary the very basics practice a few programming questions general programming questions i mean once you are done with this learn some packages for example pandas matplotlib numpy and also cborn you can get all these comments if if you google uh, on the internet about these packages or you can also do simply guided tutorials in my own channel i have like three tutorials on using some important functions in pandas to manipulate and analyze data so go through that and you will be at a good place once done with this again choose data sets maybe this data should could be the same as the one you choose for sql or even power bi now leverage your python skills to solve questions again use stack overflow google and also chat gpt regularly you don't need to mug up and remember every formula based on the situation try to google the right formula try to fit it in and see if it is working this is a very iterative process it might not work always the first time but give it a try right this is how you dive into the ocean and learn once you are done with this you will have two or three simple data analysis or manipulation projects in python to take it one level further you can do two things for instance you can learn about apis web scraping web scraping is basically extracting data from some web page on the internet based on this apis or web scraping do one or two projects understand how this scraping process works additionally if you want to showcase your app building skills you can learn about this package called streamlit i have made a small video in my channel about how streamlit works you can use this to build simple front end apps just with python you don't need any knowledge of html css javascript so this web scraping api and streamlit are add ons this can help you stand out from the others who would have just done traditional projects so build one or two projects in these unique areas this can give you more confidence now that you are done with python as well so you have learned excel sql some visualization tool and python right you are already up there but there is one important thing to keep in mind when you follow this full process whenever you are learning any tool be it excel sql python or you are doing any sort of projects parallelly share your learnings on linkedin on a regular basis don't leave all the learnings to the end but when you are learning excel in that week post about your excel learnings what formula you learned what project you have done what impact it made or like what kind of analysis you did this is super important if you do it parallelly it becomes really easy similarly use something like github to also publish your projects showcase it to the public you could even take it one level further and create a simple portfolio project website there are plenty of templates out there you can choose one of them this can be an effective way to showcase your projects wherever possible also go through the project with a video recording you can explain what you have done in the project use a tool like loom to record your video do all this parallelly this is super important because then not only are you doing your project but also showcasing it on linkedin and parallelly building your portfolio website this is super useful because then you don't get strained that you need to do everything at the end so follow this parallel process for excel sql power bi and python so the moment you finish python now you have your portfolio website up and ready you have a strong linkedin presence because you've been sharing your knowledge whatever you learned with the community you've learned the skills practiced the problems done the projects right all this is perfect this is the time you need to now think about making your cv use a cv with impactful points you can check this video out where i have built a simple resume from scratch this kind of resume also helped me get into an amazon internship 4 years back so use this kind of a template and build out your cv project your projects that is super important once you are done with this you can take like 2 or 3 weeks to look at the commonly asked interview questions and parallelly start applying to your jobs interview questions could be behavioral questions technical questions or questions based on your cv start preparing maybe take some mock interviews you could use a platform like preplaced where they have mentors who have been there and done that and you can actually ask them for mock interviews as well 
once you're done with this continue to apply network on linkedin connect with like-minded people maybe message startup founders and get that first opportunity right this is going to be a super crucial thing because no matter how good your cv is how much strong your linkedin profile is you still need to contact people and network maybe that is probably the way to get your first opportunity one other very unconventional advice i have here is whenever you are doing any kind of a project try to make it as real time as possible it could be just taking data from your daily workout or your bank statement because real time data is what you'll work with in the end right so if you already show experience with that it's going to be a great game changer finally one small checklist you need to keep in mind before you feel like you are really good to go and apply for data analyst job is make sure you have projects in these four categories one project at least on data analysis and data manipulation one proper project on data cleaning and insights one strong project on data visualization and finally one project where you extract data from somewhere basically a api or a web scraping project make sure you have all these four kinds of projects it can be a game changer in your application i hope you enjoyed this video and 2024 will be a great year where you can all get a data analyst job stay tuned for more such videos if you really like this video and stayed on this long do subscribe to the channel i have some interesting videos coming up See you later.